with a spike take profit was hit eleven thousand and seventy six dollars and at that moment i passed the challenge passing the ftmo challenge is a huge challenge i don't know if that sounds all right in english but i decided to record this video and share with you how i am passing the ftmo challenge using the smallest ten thousand dollars account which i believe is a decent start if you are a beginner don't jump into fifty hundred or even $200,000 challenge because you are risking quite a huge amount. You better diversify that amount into a few portions and take a few smaller challenges. You will be practicing more in this way and you will improve your skills while you are doing it. At the moment you are ready for the huge challenges, you will know it yourself because you will just trade comfortably with your trading system. And if you don't have a trading strategy or system to follow this is what I will share with you in this video so let me move straight to my computer and I will show you the whole thing hello everyone it's Petko Alexandrov I hope you have a beautiful day and I'm very excited to start with the challenge so let me show you straight away what I have on the screen this morning we had a very strong yen together with the pound and we have weak Canadian and euro so that's why I took two trades, Euro Yen on the short side, right after the market opened, you can see where my trade is, and then I have Pound Canadian on the long side. Now this is the best risk diversification that I could possibly do. What I have as a setup with two of them, I took quick trades after the market opened because I saw that Yen and Pound are strong, Euro and CAD are weak. And as well, if I show you the hard time frames, you will see what I have. Pound Canadian is a very strong. We have a clear uptrend. We have even a new high over here from yesterday. Okay, here it is. We will see the price will succeed to break through and form a new high. And uh, as well, the price is above the moving averages, right? With the Euro Yen, we have something a little bit different. We were in an uptrend. But now the price formed this channel and uh, if we look at the short term, you will see that it has these series of lower lows and lower highs. The price just broke the 100 moving average and now it will be facing the channel, the support of the channel. And that's why I want to have more realistic take profit somewhere with 141.15 and this is exactly where I would place the take profit for that trade. I will modify or delete the order and I will go for 141.15 and I will hit on modify. My stop loss is just above the recent uh, highs. If I put the mouse on it, you will see that it is about 2.3% and my take profit down in here, if the price reaches, that would be $378 of a profit. And with the pound Canadian, I have a stop loss below these recent lows before London opened. And if I point at it, you will see that it is a loss of 165. So I pick one lot as trading size if I can keep my stop loss at a safe place with the trades I open. I hope that makes sense, guys. All right, so I'll keep an eye on the trades. Pound Canadian goes on a very nice profit. Euro Yen is just hesitating a little bit sideways. CAD is very weak, Yen is very strong, and Euro just climbed a little bit in the Forex Profit Supreme meters, so I'll keep an eye on that. But until Yen is strong, I am alright to keep the short trade on Euro Yen. If things change, Euro goes above the Yen and the Forex Profit Supreme meter, then I usually would close the trade and exit manually. And here I go a little bit later because I want to show you one more trade that I opened and it is with the pound dollar. So dollar is very weak now together with the Canadian. Yen, New Zealand and pound are still strong. And I entered into this pound dollar trade. You can see that I had my Fibonacci and I had the retracement over here. But at that moment, in, during this drop, pound was not really strong. It was just in the middle, right? Then it continued in the same direction. 
and I just entered after the break of the 100 and uh, I placed my stop loss right at a 38.2. Now the other trades are going on a very nice profit. You can see that Euro Yen is nearly at my take profit and Pound Canadian is failing to take the 165.10. But I allowed myself to open a third trade with the Pound Dollar because Euro Yen is already at my take profit. And now let me show you how I closed the trades. You will see that uh, with the Pound Canadian, the price failed to take a few times this level of 165.10, 11. That is why I have trailed my stop loss. If I show the account history with the Pound Canadian, here it is. I trailed the stop loss at 164.95, okay, right in here. And it was just closed because of that candlestick. And uh, with uh, the pound dollar, I have closed the trade manually when it reached around the zero. What is it? $10 of a profit. And you will see that the price even formed this lower high than that one, which is a sign of a strong resistance, right? And uh, right now I'm already at uh, the 5.04 if I have to be precise, which is pretty decent profit for the first day, isn't it? Hello everyone, it's Petko Alexandrov. I hope you are doing well and I continue after two sessions. So it is Tuesdays. So what I have today, quite intensive morning and I want to share all the setups. So I have one trade opened with pound yen, but that's the third trade I opened. So let me explain exactly what happened before that. I had two more trades. The first one was with Pound Canadian and I will share with you the setup because things turned really negative and I'm glad I reacted quickly. So right after the opening, I used the moving average setup and once the price broke aggressively, I entered right about here, okay? My entry price 165.95. I placed the horizontal line so I can show it to you. And my stop loss was below the opening at 165.78. And my take profit was higher, okay? Two times the distance. Risk to reward ratio, one to two. And you can see what happened. I would have hit the stop loss if I didn't close the trade manually and I closed it just because pound was not anymore on the top. What happened with the Euro Canadian is right in here, pretty much the similar thing. I had the Fibonacci and the price retraced to the 61.8 but I couldn't execute it with just a quick touch and a pending order wouldn't execute it and I didn't have the chance to buy in here. Then the price continued higher and I used the breakout setup. And you see that right after the entry, the market just retraced and I have closed it manually as well, but giving it about 1%. You can see negative 99. Again, Euro was not anymore on the top, went in the middle and I switched to pound yen because pound got really weak and yen together with the Aussie are on the top. You can see that again I used the breakout. I had the first initial move during this time pound was just going from the top to the bottom and then you see that the price didn't even go close to the 61.8 for a retracement. It just continued lower and this is when I opened the trade I believe right at that candlestick at 10.46, let me see when is the opening. Yeah, 10.46 at the end of this candle stick. And then I placed my stop loss above these highs. And you can see that at one point the price went really close and then it went in my favor, which is pretty, pretty cool, right? I have placed the stop loss probably on the best place possible. And I'm currently on a profit. I see no reason for closing that trade because pound is the weakest, the end is the strongest, even not that strong as I wish it is, like above seven ideally and pound below one. 
but it is still going in my favor so I'll keep it and I have my take profit a little bit below the 161.8 and I will tell you why I have placed it in there let me show you the hard time frame so euro canadian ideal setup as well as the pound canadian that I had okay very bullish uptrends but Forex Profit Supreme Meter just showed me that these are not uh, the best pairs for the day. And if I switch to Pound Yen, you will see where it is. We are in a new downtrend on the hourly chart. And just to make something clear, this is not a higher low because this high is not reached. If the price breaks above that high, then I would consider that as a higher low. And I would put one green circle to identify that but until the price is below that high this is the lowest low and this is the lowest high and for me we are in a new downtrend with the pound yen now on m15 you will see that the bottoms of these candlesticks right here are somewhere at 166.15 that's why i've placed my take profit at 166.17 and since I'm recording every single trading session, I have recorded the last one hour or so, so we can see exactly what happened and I will play it on a fast speed like 30x from the real market. So we can see quickly that yen stayed on the top together with the euro pound and Canadian kept being very well on the bottom of Forex Profit Supreme meter and see that since pound and Canadian dropped about the two or even below the two pound yen continued in my favor there was one more retracement and then I was already on a huge profit the price reached to 61.8 and I was very close to the take profit with a spike the take profit was hit $11,076 and at that moment I passed the challenge so if I show you the screen right now you will see where pound yen sits and my take profit of 166.17 was like perfect okay really ideal for today's market this doesn't really happen every time that i would put my take profit on the perfect place but the I had it exactly where I wanted realistic take profit one more time I wanted to put it above the bottoms of these three candlesticks and having a realistic take profit is very very important in your trading plus a very smart money management where I traded three lots today not one and in the next section you will learn why but before I go in there I want to show you a detailed report from the account so we will see the performance and if you focus at the statistics you will see that I had totally six trades two short positions and two long positions my maximum drawdown which is very important during the FTMO challenge is $150 or that is about 1.43 percent my total net profit is $1,000 $76.91 which is obviously above 10% and I had consecutive losses of two which is something important for me and I'm very excited to get into the next section that I will share with you two very smart money management systems you can follow to pass the challenges quickly or within a few trades and from there no matter which prop trading firm you are going for and if they have minimum trading days and you have reached the target you can open positions on the next day with 0.01 lot just to stay active and to cover the minimum trading days or you can keep it up trading as normal but once you reach 10% you have nothing more to prove you don't need to push yourself for more profits during the challenge the only important thing is that you reached your target